Harley Earl was probably the most influential man in American automobile design. A lot of people share the spotlight, but don't kid yourself, Bill Mitchell was the driving force. Everybody will light up when you say Zora R has done that. Bracing is used to join two dissimilar metals to make a stronger joint. Well, that type of fusion is analogous to the resilience of our first inductee into the National Corvette Hall of Fame for 2013. The synergy of an engineering background colliding with passion for Corvette make Will Cooksey and the strength of the brand he built iconic. Will Cooksey is one of those iconic characters, I think, that we have on Corvette that everybody knows. As soon as he walks in, everybody wants to rush up and meet, and meet him. And Will, not only being a, a great plant manager he was, has really been a great ambassador for Corvette everywhere he goes, all over the country. But technology and passion alone don't make a great sports car. Perhaps the greatest component to successful production is the people. The plant workers and Will just got along unbelievably well. It was amazing. You'd walk through the plant with Will and they'd just be shaking hands with him, saying hello. I mean, the, the way the workers appreciated him was just over the top. I mean, I can imagine working for him was great fun. None of us is smarter than all of us. And he would always invite ideas from, from the group or whatever. And I, I really uh, appreciated that, you know, and, and I felt that that's what really made that, that the Corvette plant special was that inner, that open interchange of ideas. The way he deals with people, it's very fair, it's very upfront, and he plays no games. And so I think the workers respected him for that. And I actually worked a day on the line one day. That was a requirement a few years ago. And uh, I, I remembered, again, the continual respect that the workers had for Will. They, they appreciated what he did for them. This strong bond between labor and management is further tempered by Will's charisma. Simply put, people just gravitate to him. I think people just, just naturally are drawn to him and, and, and love him because he's passionate about Corvette. He, he, it's not just a job for him. He's always loved Corvettes and collects Corvettes. And I think people see that coming through in his passion. So he's really been a great uh, spokesperson for Corvette as well as being a great plant manager. Proof? When's the last time you ever heard of anybody looking forward to going to a presentation? Hmm? Any event that he speaks at, the house is absolutely rocked because not only does he have this sense of passion, but he has a mountainous sense of humor as well. He's a big man, big passion, and when he communicates, that all comes forward. You can tell he gives his all, no matter what he does in life. <laughs> And I think, uh, so to me, it's his speaking ability. I always look forward to him speaking to people because I'm, number one, I'm going to learn something that I hadn't known about the car from a different perspective, and I'm going to be hugely entertained. Will's out there burning tires up, and all the kids are screaming happy, having a good time, and he knows how to do that. You absolutely fry a tire right off a wheel, right down to the rim where it blows out and just, 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 routes out the whole quarter panel and is going to stop? No, it never stops, keeps on going and just right down the rim, there's sparks, there's smoke. It's like, whoa! He would eat a lot of pizza. <laughs> I can tell you that. But in all the fun, Will never loses sight of the customer. He knows that they share his high expectations of quality. Will, if you see him in public, man, he's always shaking hands with the customers, thanking them for buying the cars. I mean, it just, he's really a, a, a good representative for the car and the company. He lived it. It was part of his life. It was part of his makeup, part of his heart. And there's Will Cooksey standing there, and he's got a Z06 wheel in one hand and another Z06 wheel in the other hand. And he's rotating them around, and he's looking at them in the light, and he says to me, so do you think these wheels are good enough to put on our... Corvette, good enough to come out of this plant? 
He goes, because I see, I see things on these wheels. He goes, Mr. Shaw, you got to know here at the plant, we don't like all this variation and different options and things like that. We want quality and we want to make things consistent. So don't come here with all kinds of crazy ideas and things like that. So I kind of listened, but then a few years later, we had some things we really wanted to do, some exciting things we wanted to get out. You know, for example, we had the, the Corvette Z06 and I thought, you know, it would be really neat if we could have this in, um, you know, the, the, the red tin coat metallic color. I talked to Will about it. We sat down in his office. I go, what would you think about, about doing something like that? And he's like, well, I don't know. And, he go, and I said, what about if we did, um, it was a gray interior, this gray leather wrapped interior that's coming out. What if we pulled that in a little bit early? He was like, I don't, I don't know. And then uh, we had these new wheels, these spider wheels that are coming out next year. I want to pull those ahead another six months. He's like, I'm not sure that's going to work. I go, well, we're going to make this, you know, 427 special edi edition, and we want you to sign a number every one in honor of you when you're doing the plan. He goes, maybe we can work this out somehow. A lot of or some of the blue, the build complexity issues uh, that you would normally have when doing packages like that all fell to the wayside. And he being his own enthusiast, and then finally getting his goal of running the plant, uh, I, I think that w that's a real asset. If you brought in another plant manager who had no sense of Corvettes, it might take a while for them to sort of get in the groove and say, okay, this is what a Corvette plant has to do. In Will's case, he, he lived and breathed it, so when he came to the plant, it was like, I know what we got to do, and he, he went out and did it. Each one of these Corvettes, that's what makes them special, are at least the people that I see that are involved with them. You can see a little bit of everybody coming through it in one form or another. And certainly Will is right there, and it's something that's going to live forever. Our first inductee into the National Corvette Museum Hall of Fame for 2013, Will Cooksey.